Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears, Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear. One morning, Mummy Bear made some porridge for breakfast. She poured it into three bowls, a big bowl, a middle-sized bowl and a little bowl. The porridge was too hot to eat, so the three bears decided to go for a walk while it cooled down. Goldilocks was also out walking in the forest that same morning. She spotted the three bears' cottage. She knocked on the door, but no one replied. She looked through the window. She could see that no one was at home, so she went inside. Goldilocks was a very nosy little girl. When Goldilocks saw the porridge on the table, she felt hungry. She tasted the porridge in the biggest bowl, but it was too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge in the little bowl. It was just right, so she ate it all up. When Goldilocks had finished the porridge, Goldilocks saw three chairs in front of the fireplace. She sat in the biggest chair, but it was too high. Next, she sat in the middle-sized chair, but it was too low. Then she sat in the little chair, and it was just right, but Goldilocks was too heavy, and the little chair broke. Now Goldilocks was feeling tired, so she climbed the stairs up to the bedroom. She lay down on the biggest bed, but it was too hard. Next she tried the middle-sized bed, but it was too soft. Then she tried the littlest bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks snuggled under the covers and was soon fast asleep. Downstairs, the three bears had returned home. They knew immediately that someone had been in the cottage. I'm sure I closed the door, said Daddy Bear. The three bears saw the porridge bowls on the table. Someone's been eating my porridge said Daddy Bear, in a big, booming voice. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mummy Bear, in a middle-sized voice. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear, in a squeaky little voice. And they've eaten it all up. Then the three bears saw the chairs by the fireplace. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Daddy, in a big, booming voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mummy Bear, in a middle-sized voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear, in a squeaky little voice. And they've broken it! Next, the bears climbed the stairs up to the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Daddy Bear in a big, booming voice. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mummy Bear in a middle-sized voice. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear in a squeaky little voice. And she's still there. At that very moment, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears staring at her. She had never been so frightened. She leapt out of bed and ran as fast as her legs could carry her, out of the door, through the forest and far, far away from the three bears' cottage. Goldilocks never went there again and everyone lived happily ever after.